Okay, the microphone is working. Are you ready for maybe the best show at IBC? So welcome everybody to Stipe Camera Tracking Laboratory. I hope you're having a good day so far. Now it's going to become a little bit better. So I will talk to you about some of the things that you see on the screen. So obviously when you look at the real space over here, there is something different than what you see on the screen. In this case, we, we have this this cycling talent preparing for his next bicycle race. But something maybe to you it might be a little bit less interesting, but it's very crucial. The way my colleague is carrying the camera in a handheld position, he can do whatever he wants with the camera. You see how the graphic responds completely naturally and in sync with the real scene. This is being rendered in Wizard Rendering Engine, our longtime partners. And now let's switch to another scene. So this is a full virtual set by our uh, partners from Pixatope. It's Pixatope Rendering Engine based on Unreal, thanks to our partners from Pixatope. Let me move to the upper deck. So our tracking system, its job is to give the rendering engine exact coordinates of the camera. So we know in each millisecond the exact X, Y and Z coordinates of this camera in space, the orientation of the camera, so if it turns, the whole graphic will turn, also the levels of zoom and focus. And once the rendering engine knows all this information, it can show the graphics perfectly like it does. So this has been recognized by the world's leading TV stations like BBC, Fox and TV. And we have been doing some of the greatest shows in the world like Super Bowl, World Cup, UFC, Eurovision, pretty much any, any greatest shows. There is no higher level. This is the best tracking systems you can get nowadays. But we are always looking to make the next step in technology, to give our clients even more freedom, to give their creative teams even more options how they can express themselves and how they can engage the viewers in new ways. Because there is one problem with graphics. They're ultimately a fake thing. So with the graphic, you cannot just take our Emmy Award and just carry it like this, because graphics are not real. So we wanted to change the way you interact with graphics and be able to interact as a human being with a, with a virtual object. So this is follower. I'm holding an infrared beacon, a battery pack that you can put in your pocket. The cable can come in skin color. But notice that however I move this beacon around, if I make fast moves, slower moves, it simply puts the graphic where the beacon is. So you might wonder, okay, so what does this mean for live TV shows? So let's show some examples. I will just load up some graphic. Let's say we are in a live, live show. So we might be in an election show, I might be a news anchor, and we are delivering the content. This is something that you may see on the leading TV stations nowadays. But with follower, in this case, we have four follower beacons on the edges of this presenter tablet. And with a simple press of a button, and with the help of our partners from Pixatope, I can do pretty much magic. Let's see this. Now, how cool is this? Suddenly, the latest post we are getting, we can make some really, really dramatic shows. Why are these guys doing so bad? They were supposed to be winning this thing. These are, these are, these are the surprises of this election. Or we can talk about the most dramatic things in recent weeks, the fires in the Amazon forest. What does it mean for our planet? Or about Brexit? Or we can talk about how Boris Johnson plans to solve the problems with his parliament. I can always put him on the floor. I can pick him up again. So you are probably getting an idea of what, what's possible with this kind of technology. So let's see, this is something that might come a few years down the line in the mainstream television, but let's see an example of, of how this solves some one problem that all TV stations are facing these days. So this, like I said, this, is, this could be an election show and I could be a news anchor and I get so carried away, let, uh, let's say carried away, and I overstep my boundaries and suddenly the graphic will look like this, which obviously is something is wrong. So, but if we employ follower technology, and I will invite my colleague Monica to join me, she's carrying a follower beacon attached to her shirt. And Monica, can you try to do the same move, try to walk, in front of the graphic. 
As you see, it looks like, like she simply walked through a hologram. Like there's a real object, or a hologram, let's say, and she walks, she's able to walk in front of it or behind it. Like I said, if you don't have this technology, even if you're the world's, world's biggest TV station, like BBC or some other news stations, their news anchors are still required to pay close attention where they are stepping, or they have to remember if I want to walk, walk. That way I have to take exactly a few steps to the right, a few steps to the left. But now, as you can see, Monica is able to walk through the graphic, and it will look completely natural. And again, let's let's pick the graphic up from the floor. Remember, my position is not tracked, so if I try to turn around, it doesn't look so cool. Let's let's give it to Monica; she can do better. They say women are better at some things. As you can see, it looks completely natural and effortless for her. She doesn't have to worry. Regardless of how big your budget was, until until recently, this was impossible to accomplish. So let's go back to the cyclists that we started with. So here we have two cyclists. Maybe we can be, maybe we are talking during a live uh, live TV show about Tour de France and the importance of wind resistance for the cyclists and how the cyclist in the front is actually removing some of the air from the back one. And as I move the follower beacon, the particles of air actually move. And notice how they're bouncing off of their, of this, their 3D model. So imagine, you can probably get a hunch of how, more, how much more expressive the, the TV shows can be, how much more expressive the, the anchors can be, the creative people, the ideas that can suddenly come to life that until recently were not possible. This is the product that was launched in April and it won the product of the year award at NAB show in Las Vegas. And this is something we are very proud of. So this is follower by Stipe. The camera is tracked by Red Spy by Stipe. Thank you for your attention. For any questions, just ask any of us here. Thank you.